want to go out. I don't know if I can because I'm so afraid of the Tommy Knocker Man. Mom, make him stop. Freaking cat and not are too All right, good. All right. Billy, stop torturing your brother and get ready for school. Mom? Hey, Hilly, don't argue with your mom. I don't want you to come straight home after school today, okay? You got chores. Yo, Gramps says you're only a kid once. Gramps doesn't pay the bills around here. I do, and as long as I do, you're gonna do what I tell you, all right? Yes, sir. Oops. Damn it, Hilly! Sorry. Wait up, Hill. And don't slam the door. Well, Hilly without accidents is like McDonald's without hamburgers. Yeah. You're a little hard on him. Well, somebody's got to be tough on him. Your dad spoils him rotten. Well, those boys are his whole life. Thirty new tricks. Hours of fun for the young prestidigitator. <laughs> That's magician in plain English. Is it okay? It's cool. Except. Except for what? Well, Dad says there's no such thing as magic. Dads forget things being dads. That's what happens to grown-ups. But you're a grown-up. No, oh, I'm an old man. Kids and old people, we know that magic's real, no matter what anybody says. There is even a place that's magic. A place? Yes, out by the Anderson farm. In my day, we called it Big Engine Woods. But it's called Burning Woods now. But no matter what it's called, there's magic there. The engines believed it, and so do I. You mean they're haunted? They are magic spirits. You have to keep your wits about you when you go there. And Hilly, never, never go there alone. Okay, baby, let's use your thumb, shall we? There you go. Right there. Good. Perfect. You see, that's how we fingerprint our suspects. See that, everybody? Over here, come on, over here. This, this is where we have our cells, and we put on all the people who break the law in here. Okay, and then down here, this is the dispatcher station where Mrs. Paulson answers all the important police calls. Don't you, Mrs. Paulson? Right. Yes, I do. <laughs> okay, come on in here. Let's go see the schoolroom. This is the best part. Come on. You see, when I was a little girl, my parents used to travel a lot. And every time they went to a new country, they would bring me another doll. So I have dolls from Africa and East Asia and from all over the world. Are dolls your hobby? Oh, yes, they are my hobby. My friends know that I like them, so every time they travel, they bring me one. And no, Norma. We don't want to break anything now, do we? That's all right. That's all right. JoJo's never been broken. Go ahead. Pull that. My name is JoJo. Sweetheart? Come on, children. Tell you what. Why don't you come back some other time and we'll see them together, okay? All alone. Just you and me. All right. Bye, Dave. You scared that little boy. Come on, which one of you scared that little boy?
Yeah, Haven Post Office, Joe Paulson. Mm. Hi, Jill. It's me. Hi, hon. Be right home at 6 o'clock. Because I'm making that new chicken Kiev like those Ruskies eat. It squirts real butter when you stick your fork in it. Honey, I'm sorry. I really, I, I think I'm going to have to work late tonight. Oh, Jill, come on. Not again. You know, that new postmistress is a real tyrant. Honey, she's much harder on me than old Charlie Esterbrook, for sure. Yeah, will you tell her for me that Becca Paulson likes her husband home for dinner? Yeah, honey, I will. I, honey, I will. I gotta go now. Bye. Huh? That woman's gonna be the death of him. <laughs> Are you ready? Am I, am I ready? Is that your question? Am I ready? <laughs> it's like the sign says, neither snow nor rain nor... Sweet. More gloom tonight. And stay these couriers. <laughs> From the swift completion. Oh, <laughs> of, of their, their appointed round. <laughs> to be buried in buffalo skins rather than in coffins. What are you looking at? Ah. Wanna get out of here? Ah. Okay, just go. Gardner. Hi, I'm Jim and I'm an alcoholic. I haven't had a drink in about a year now. Not that I don't want one all the time. The hell I don't. The thing with me and booze is that I basically have a bad containment system. You know, it's like this, there's this technician in here somewhere that should have been fired like a long time ago. <laughs> and when I drink, I, um, I turn into this stranger who does the stupidest crazy things monster and my friend bobby she always says knowing is one thing but doing something about it is uh, another well anyway the problem is i've got this poem that i have to read in public it's probably the last chance i'll have to see if i can hack it on the circuit as a poet just hang up my jock <laughs> Uh, 
While I'm scared to death, I'm going to need a drink to do it. I'm scared to death. I appreciate you bringing this to me, Butch, but you could have called it in or asked the to me. All part of the service, Ruthie. Well, thank you. Um, any plans on coming up to Derry soon? No, not in the near future. Why? No reason. Just wondering. Yeah. Ladies? Bye, Butch. Bye. I think he's sweet on you. That's ridiculous. I'll be back in about an hour, boys. Anything new? All quiet on this front, Captain. When are you gonna ask that Merrill woman out on a date? Haven't you got something better to do than worry about my private life jingles? Like checking all the uh, diners in northern Maine for health violations or something? You can bark all you want to, but just because she was your partner's wife and a damn fine constable besides is no reason not to speak your heart. Let it be, fellas. Let it be. Ben's right. Time's going by. And neither of you is getting any younger. Let go. Mm. You get away from that window and go back to work, please. <laughs> magician in history. I'm going to be just like him someday. Go to sleep, kid. That hot water heater is really shot. I thought I'd get us a new one while you're gone. No, see if you can keep the old one going for a few weeks. I'll buy us a new one when I get back. Okay. Oh, Pete and I found a great cache of firewood today. Mm-hmm. Haven't started the novel, huh? Uh, you know, just because I'm a little blocked, there's no reason to rub it in. So that, uh, sexy young school marm and the gruff buffalo hunter, they haven't gotten together yet? I hate you. You okay? Hey, never better, Bobby. Never better. Teeth. So it's not my imagination, right? The vision in his right eye does seem to be returning. Let's take a closer look, shall we? Hey. <laughs> hey! Sorry, 
I'm afraid you'll have to excuse me. Hey, 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 what's hey? Hey. I trust he will provide us with a memorable finish. Reading us his latest work, Friends of New Poetry, I give you James Eric Gardner. I uh, was going to try to live up to my reputation and read something new and angry tonight, but instead I think I'll be a little unpredictable and read something from my first book. It's a love poem called One More Mile. It's for Bobby Anderson. Only for you. I was raised to believe God was love. But how loving can God be when he makes men and women smart enough to land on the moon, but stupid enough to have to learn that there is no such thing as forever, only to have to learn it over and over again? One more mile. Just one more mile. Then one day I dreamed. I found you. Illusion made substance. In a dream realer than any mirage, your eyes looked up at me and saw the me I wish and after I all these doubts and all these fears, after all these questions without answers and dreams without substance, I journeyed home. One more mile. Just one last mile. And there you were. Are you sure you're ringing the right room? He's with the New England Poetry Caravan. I have been ringing, ma'am. Would you like to leave a message? Uh, yeah, just tell him. No, never mind. Just, no, thanks. I'll just, uh, try later. <sighs> well, he'd see it, all right. He'd say, Bobby, cataracts don't recede. You gotta find out where he's been and what he's gotten into. Well, buddy, I know where you've been. Let me take a better look. you going with me because I don't want you freaking out. All right, so just go on back to the house. Go on. Good boy.
Orcs will kill me if they find out we were here. Who's gonna tell them? Graham says this is where the Micmac Indians used to pray to their gods. Give me a break. Really? They believe this was a place of magic. In between the spirit world and the real. Ugh. Gross. Whoa. What do you think killed it? Probably ate some poison bait. Yeah, maybe it was a sacrifice to the gods. Yeah. What? Don't you hear it? Shouldn't be alone in the woods. Let's go call your dad. I'll come pick you up. Drink, sir? Uh, tonic water, please. I, uh, thought your poem was wonderful tonight, Mr. Gordon. Thanks very much, son. Hey, my friends call me Jim. Thanks. Everything all right, Gardner? Oh, Patricia, I didn't know you cared. Tonic water. I'm dubious. Yes, you always have been. What you really are, though, man, is uh, a little ticked off, aren't you? I mean, I got the biggest hand of the day. I pay you to read new poetry, not old stuff. When's the last poem you wrote that got published? When's the last poem you wrote that was any good? You may fool them, but you don't fool me. You're nothing but a drunk, Gardner. Always were, always will be. Why don't we add some vodka to that? Whatever you say, Mr. Gardner. I say, on uh, second thought, hold the tonic. Wash and fluff. Don't listen to a word she says. Yes, Pearl. You got a dollar all up. She's got a big date, and I do mean. Do you mind? Please? Big. Becca, stop it. She's going to the movies with Butch Dugan. Well, tell the world, why don't you? After this, we're going to zip you into one of those kind of outfits like Michelle Pfeiffer wears. Uh -huh. you know, yeah. Just my yeah. regular Pearl, please. Okay. You know? okay, okay. Oh, Pearl, you know what? Can you show her some of that new polish and lipstick that you got? Yes, yes. Final passion. No, <laughs> no. Thank you very much. That's where I draw the line, girls. Oh, 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 oh. Bruce, awesome. right? We don't want our sheriff parading around town looking like a floozy. Besides, I just sold the last set to our postmistress. Good. I'm yeah. glad to hear that. Yeah. Ladies. Nancy. Hi, Nancy. <sighs> well then. Bye bye, everyone. Bye, bye Nancy. Nancy. Where have you been? Bobby Anderson's woods, that's where. Not Vernon Woods. Yeah. After all that we've told you about not going in there? You were right, Grumps. The woods are magic. Upstairs, young man. Bad magic. Not another word. Well, Ev Hillman, this looks like your fault. Boys always jumping around. I was like that when I was his age. If you're going to live under my roof, would you please live by my rules? Ev? bit me out there. You know when I was picking up Hilly? Well, there's a lot of summer flu going around. You want me to call Doc War? No. 
They'll just tell me to drink a lot of water and get plenty of rest. Okay. What's his name again? No, no, no. Don't tell me, don't tell me. It's that sound you make when you goggle. It's... <laughs> <laughs> That's it, isn't it? Argo bargo? Well, Arberg, actually. Oh, no, Argo bargo. Argo bargo sounds so much better, don't you think? Mr. Argo bargo. Hello. Maybe you better call it night. Yes, yes, sir. Maybe, maybe you're right. Maybe I should just go home, get a good night's sleep, and live to write another day to fight. God, the American people have finally got this Chernobyl business into perspective so we can go ahead with a new plan. 26 dead. It's horrible. But then last month, the plane crash killed 195, and you don't see the government shutting down all the airlines, do you? No. <laughs> At Chernobyl, they killed kids. Did you know that? Little nine-year-olds, the ones in utero. Isn't that right, Mr. Uh, Kilowatt? I'm gonna fix you. Oh, Patricia. Really? Well, I've been waiting to be fixed by you for years. Shall we maybe go upstairs or just give everybody a treat and do it right here on the rug, huh? Come on. I'm going to Ooh. see to it that you'll never work again, you Excuse drunken, me. contentious, no. worthless. Oh! 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 Hey, you. Caramba! Hey, come you on. stupid ass! Andale! 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 Stop this! Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, help me! Help, help me! Help you. me! Help you! Is that all you can say, Mr. Power Man? Mr. Uh, Kilowatt? You nooking SOB. Hey, you, you gotta bug out of here. The lady's called the cops. Yeah, no, oh, God, I shouldn't have done that. What, hit him? No, open the umbrella in the house is bad luck. Goodbye, my friend. Goodbye, sir. Goodbye. If, if you remember nothing else in this world, remember this. God hates a cow. Suck it up. Spare vacuum cleaner parts. Selling people a great American dream, right? So, what's your name? What's your game, friend? Jim Gardner's the name. Poetry's. <sighs> I never met a poet before. <laughs> so, where if I might ask you ahead, Mr. Poet? The place where when you have to go there, they have to take you in. Nice. Uh, that, that's very nice. Is a uh, thermos of Java and a sack of 
Drunken donuts in the back if you're hungry. <laughs> Thanks. Let's see if I can get some traveling music. Okay. What the hell was that? No, that was me. Yeah, you see this? Yeah. Did you get in a fight? Yeah. It was a giant pine. Wow, how did it happen? Well, I was trying to press this pretty young thing on the slopes when I was about 17. When I woke up, they filled my head with the steel plate. Told me I get headaches from time to time. Headaches? My God, you're lucky to be alive. Yeah, that's what they said. What they didn't say was that every now and then I was going to pick up a microwave dish or a radio transmission. Oh, man. That is really something. The first guy I ever met could do a trick like that. Some trick. something, Ruthie? I'll answer it if I can. After Ralph died, why'd you stay in Haven? Well, to start with, I don't like cities so much. And then, after a while, the land casts a spell. It kind of gets to you. So let me ask you a question. Name it. Come, you never got married. Me? Eh, uh, good woman would marry a big lug like me. A lot of women. Yeah, matter of fact. <laughs> what? Uh, nothing. I, I was thinking I'm... I have to get up early. Let's go, okay? Sure. I'm sorry, honey. You ought to be. The sandwiches. Oh. For you and the boys? Oh. For your fishing trip? Really, this is great. Thanks a lot, honey. Well, I'll see you tonight, okay? Hey. 
bought the fishing story <laughs> hook line and sinker good then hop on in and let's see what we can catch the magic guillotine behold its sharpness observe I need a volunteer from the audience. You, Barney Applegate. Me? I hope you know what you're doing. Now, just put your finger in here. Okay, now I need a volunteer for my next trick. <laughs> Mr. Allison. Me, I don't think so. Come on, Mr. A. This okay, I'll do it. Just make it fast, Tilly. And now the black and white rabbit trick. First, it's white. Now, please take off the top, sir. I'm sorry, Mr. Allison. Just give me another chance. I can do the multiplying coin trick. Thanks for the ride. Found what? I think that it was for you. What? What was? Well, you'll understand better once you see it and, and you feel it. And... Hey, hey. What, what do you want? Euphoria. A miracle. At first, I just thought it was a car, you know? I mean, like that time we found that, that, that Hudson Horn. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I could have walked past this thing three times a day for 40 years. I never stumbled over it. I mean, it really... Drew... Oh, are you all right? Yeah. I'm, 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 just slow down a little bit. I, okay. Yes, I'm rambling. Yeah, I know. Uh, I haven't slept, and I guess I need some food, too. But I'm telling you, God, I, I just makes me feel different, and I, I have all this energy, and I've got ideas, and... I, well... Well, I, and you're telling me that you think that this thing in the ground is making you feel this way. Well, I, it felt the pain, too. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah his eyes, his eyes better. The cataract is, is disappearing. Uh, oh, please, honey. Huh. <laughs> Tell me what's going on here. Uh, well, oh, no, I'll just show you. Oh, oh just wait till you see it, God. You are not going to believe it. You okay? Here it is. Oh. It's in my 
most incredible thing I've ever seen. It's really something, isn't it? What the hell is it? <laughs> oh, I want to show you something else. Watch this. So I touched that thing and it felt like my head was going to explode. It's like the DTs. I just can't believe that that thing could do this to you. Yeah, well, maybe, maybe it didn't. I haven't been too good for the past couple of days, you know. No, I, I don't know. Well, you know, I was, I was away over there and I, I got this really bad feeling that you were in trouble. And why you came back early? My hero. Some hero. Fell off the wagon, Bobby. What? Yeah, I went on a binge. I'm sorry. You're sorry? You're just like that. <laughs> what after everything we've been through and everything we were from? You're sorry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I was uh, had this little success thing. You, know? you weren't there to share it with me. I just didn't have any. Come on, say something. You go to hell. Okay, if I come in. Didn't go so good at school today, huh? They all laughed. So? They laughed at Columbus, too. Who cares what they think? I do. I practiced so hard. I wanted it to be perfect. Of course you do, kiddo. You just got cat whiskers for nerves. But all artists and smart guys do. But the trick is to get back up on the horse and show him who's boss. You mean like, you know, like studying again? Yeah, that's what makes the difference between winners and losers. Trying again. If 
právě ty díži s nimi filmy. I couldn't help it. <laughs> That's a lie. I didn't even try. I just drank. I got all this applause for this old, old poem. I mean, let's be real here. I haven't written anything worth crap in years. Years. I'm a fraud, Bobby. And maybe I always have been. I know that I don't deserve your forgiveness, but I, I am sorry. You're the only one whose love still matters to me, you know. I don't know what I'd do if you'd stop loving me, Bob. Don't you know by now that I'll always love you? Those things and it work. Hi, I'm Jeff Stewart, and welcome again to He Devils, where our three lovely ladies in just a moment are gonna vibe for a night of breathtaking romance with our one hunk of a stud over here, Larry. <laughs> clean shirts that are ironed. Why didn't you wake me up when you came home last night? Well, it was very late and... Oh, hi. Oh, it was very late and you were sleeping and I didn't want to wake you up. Yeah, but you know, you should have called me or something. I was honey, really worried. Honey, I'm in the middle of the woods. How am I going to phone you? Well, you know, I cooked your favorite meal last night. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And I got that nightgown that you really like a lot and I... <laughs> 
I'm sorry. For the fish. What fish? You know, the fish. The fish. I'm, honey, I'm a lousy fisherman, and the fishing was lousy. And do I have any iron shirts? Yeah, I, I mean, you were them... supposed to do them yesterday. I put them right in the drawer where I always put them. Honey, they're not in the drawer, okay? Come on. All I'm asking is you give me that one shirt that's ironed. What's wrong? I need your help. What? I need some batteries. Batteries? Yeah, and other stuff, too. I forgot a list. What, what's this all about? I've come up with a new trick. I can do it at my birthday party on Saturday. A new one, huh? Is it a good trick? Not good. Great. The best trick anyone's ever seen. It'll make him gasp and scream and yell. A trick that they'll remember forever. <laughs> hey, Petey. Hello. It's about time. Have you been up long? Hours. Really? Breakfast almost ready. Hmm. You need a shave. Yeah, well, I would trade my soul in for a long, hot shower in the process. You would? Mm -hmm. Well, hand it over then. Wait a minute. You didn't call the plumber, did you? We talked about this. I didn't call the plumber. I did it myself while you were gone. <laughs> Hey, Pete, Miss Home Improvement, huh? Oh, ye of little faith. do something about the hot water here. The next thing I knew, it was done. Wait a minute. You, let me get this straight. You, you're telling me that that thing out there is talking to you? Mm-hmm. Yeah. As I uncover it, it's sending out some kind of transmission. They're turning you into Einstein, huh? Well, no. Not Einstein, exactly, because Einstein knew things. I don't know anything. I just... I mean, I have no idea how I got the hot water heater to work. I just knew as I was doing it, everything seemed clear as a bell. I don't know what that thing is. I just know that we have to dig it up. God, there's something miraculous about it. Let's experience it together. What? What? What is this? My invention. <laughs> wow. What? What does it do? It sorts the first-class mail. No. Watch this. Come on. Are you? 
Look at this little flag. I love this. Wow. Duct tape village. RFD1 Dairy Road. That's too much. How did you think of this? It just came to me. Smart, huh? Wow. Well, it's not bad. Not for a woman. It's not bad at all. Oh, you weren't complaining last night, now were you? Well, last night, I mean, we were going at each other like bunnies and the sky was lighting up like New Year's Eve. No, I wasn't complaining at all. Like... So what was that thing? Oh, who the hell knows? We were both crocked. <laughs> we sure were wrong. Mm. You want to do it again? Do I? Do you? Do I? Do you? Oh, boy. Howdy do I. <laughs> <laughs> what are you digging up on that farm of yours? There's some of the stumps in the back that need clearing. Well, if you dig up any buried treasure, save some for me. I wouldn't mind being a lady of leisure, I can tell you that. Hey there, you two. Top of the day. Yeah. Hilly needs more batteries. Better try them all up at Augusta. Oh. I'm cleaned out. Been a real run on them lately. Seems like everybody wants them. All right, now, before we hear from our he-devil, who is patiently standing by, I want you to tell our viewers, each one of you, exactly what it is that you like in a man. And we'll start over here with Wendy. What do you like in a man? When they made a man like you, Chaz Stewart, they broke them all. What are you doing tonight? Unfortunately, I'm busy. Otherwise, well, anyway. <laughs> Girls, how would our heat devil answer this question? Sex is good, but blank is better. Joe? Fishing. <laughs> Fishing is better. Do you still love me, Joe? What is this? I mean, what, do I still what? What kind of a dim bulb question is that, anyway? It's just lately you don't seem to show it. I don't believe you. I really don't. <laughs> Tell me the now truth, Joe. No, you crazy. You're crazy. I'm sorry, no. No, I'm not. Jeez. Why are you so mean to me? What chance do you like this? I have nothing. I'm just the same as I always was. And where's my keys? Where are you going? How dare you ask me that question? I'm going out now, and I'll be back when I want to. You got it? But Joe... You got it? But Joe... Do you got it? But Joe... But, 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 but. See, I never want to hear that word again. I never want to hear but again, because but is what a goat has for brains. And but is for the small-minded people in this small-minded town. Bye. And butt is what you say when you want to get away from your stupid wife. Uh, he must think you were born yesterday. Born yesterday to believe such bull. Listen, Becca, Joe, he's been cheating on you. You must be heat stroke. I better call the infirmary. Nah, calm down, Becca. Chill out. Let's not have a heart attack over this. Okay, Chaz. Listen, one thing you got to get straight. You are not going crazy. TVs don't talk? Well, Becca, it appears that this one does. And besides, we got a lot to talk about. About Joe, for one thing, and his infidelities. He's having an affair. You got it. I mean, he's been putting it to that hussy down at the post office just about every lunch hour. And around quitting time, too. Well, what am I going to do? What are you going to do? Hey, why don't we ask our contestant? OK, ladies, I want you to put yourself in Becca's shoes. What would you do? Kill him. <laughs> Kill him. <laughs> Kill him. <laughs> well, there you have it, Becca. It's unanimous. Kill him. Oh. Isn't this something? I wonder how big it is. I wonder what it is. Maybe it's a, an ancient temple from another civilization. Or a, you know, piece of a Mayan treasure. Hey, maybe it's Atlantis. Hell, if pizza any indication, it could be the fountain of youth. <laughs> Bobby, you think maybe we should tell somebody about this? Somebody? Who? Well, I don't know. Maybe we should just uh, tell... 
think we should tell the authorities, okay? Oh, no. No. All right, Ruth Merrill, then. Well, why? Because she's my friend? She's a cop guard. She go to the feds. Well, would that be so bad? What are you talking about? When, I mean, how can you say that? You who thinks our government won't be completely satisfied until we all glow in the dark? I, mean, all I, meant I, mean, I found this amazing thing, and you want me to turn it over to them? Guard, they will come here with, with trucks filled with barbed wire and men with guns. and They'll gag us, guard, and you know that they would do it. You really do hold forth. You know that, don't you? I learned from a master. Okay. Okay. Okay? So, until we know what this is, we'll just keep it between us, all right? Not a word, Teddy. Afternoon, Bobby. What can I do for you? Um, yeah, I've got a piece of uh, registered mail. Joe, you got that package for Anderson back there? Oh, God, he's so hot, I can't stand it. Excuse me? I didn't say anything. Hey. There you go, Bobby. Hey, Joe, thanks. Oh, jeez, look at his hair. I haven't been this horny since I was 16. Last thing I need is his wife knowing what we're up to. Is there anything else? Give my regards to Becca. Oh, I'm telling you, I could read their minds. Sense that they were having an affair, maybe, but come on, come on read their minds. Yeah. You're very intuitive. You always know what the hell I'm gonna say next. Yeah, you probably will. I know I'm right. I know I'm tired. And I think we should go to bed. Right? Uh, no, I'm not really tired. I just wanna write a little bit. You have better luck than I do. I'll stay up too late. What you doing, Hill? Ouch, I've got to get ready for the show. What, Hilly? The Medici princes used to have people executed if they were caught looking at the tricks ahead of time. Now out. Ladies and gentlemen, my namesake has a surprise for all of you. A magical treat of his own, I repeat, of his own devising. I give you Hillman the Magnificent. Ladies and gentlemen, for my first trick, I want you to watch closely as the mysteries of the Orient take hold. Presto, changeo, the disappearing tomato. Ta-da! Presto, changeo, return. That's my radio. Now, for the disappearing radio. Presto. Presto. 
Presto, change-o, turn. It's time for the grand finale. The disappearing human. Now, I need an assistant. Barney Applegate? No, wait, man, forget it. Come here, Davy. Don't want to. Do what I say. It's okay, David. Go ahead. Here you go, David. <laughs> but, Hilly, I'm scared. Do it, and I'll give you anything. All your G.I. Joes? Everyone, just get up here now. Disappear. Now, wait, wait, wait. I'm not done. Enough, Hilly. Get your brother and come on in and open the presents. He's not under there, damn it. Hilly, don't swear. Get your brother out of there and come on in. We're going to open your presents. Presto, change your return. Presto, change your return. Presto, change your return! Please, God. I'm sorry. He can have all my G.I. Joes. Anything, I swear it. Just let him come back. What's wrong, son? I'll do anything. Just bring him back. Bring him back now. Oh, God, what does he mean? Who's he talking to? I don't know. Hilly, you stop fooling around and get baby back. Now. I'm trying, but I can't. I'm trying, okay? Okay, where is he, honey? Where did he go? I don't know. I don't know where things go when they stop being here. Come back, Davy, come back. Probably asleep somewhere in the grass. Without any of us seeing it? He would never have gone off by himself, never. Honey, you know little boys, okay? I mean, <sighs> he's been gone an hour. I'm sure he's going to turn up. You've got to find him before dark. You've got to. Hilly, how did you think up this trick? The voices. They told me what to do and how to do it. What voices? I don't know. I don't know. Take it easy, son. This is all your fault. We should have never given me that stupid magic set in the first place. Hilly, you don't mean that. Yes, I do. I hate magic and I hate him. All right, everybody, listen up. We're going to search this town from top to bottom. First, I want you to divide into groups. One group, go up and down Main Street. I want you to check every building, store, and house, and don't forget to knock on every door. Now, Ev, guard Bobby, you come with Butch and me, we'll search Burning Woods. I've got a little boy lost here today, and I want to find him before nightfall. What are you all gawking at? Come on, let's go find him. I'm sure we'll find him, then. Are you? How do you know he's lost? I guess I know how you must feel, but... Uh, no. No. You don't know how I feel. Oh! <laughs> 
I'm sorry. What the hell's the matter with him, Bobby? I don't know. He's been acting really weird lately. Well, he's acting like a regular Cujo. What? What? What do you hear? I, I heard something over there. All right. No sign of the poor little man. He's, he's he's abducted, right? I'm afraid so. There's just no <sighs> rational explanation. He could not have gotten past the search area without being taken by somebody. We've got an APB out. Somebody will spot him. But your men will keep looking for him, won't they? Sure have. Well, we'll start again at first light. You're just going to leave him out there all by himself all night? Yeah, what do you mean first light? Brian, what are we gonna do? Oh, honey, let's just let them do their job. We'll find them, Marie. I think everything will be yeah, fine. I know just let we them will. do their job. Becca, you look exhausted. Why don't you go on home and take care of Joe? What? Oh, Joe left the search early. Said he was coming down with the flu. I'll man the phones. I'll go see how he is. I'll be back first thing in the morning. Okay. Thanks, Becca. Missing child hotline. <laughs> well, maybe I don't know. No. Mm -hmm. I know I tell you that hey, that kid Davy could be the best thing that ever happened to us with any luck he could be missing for a week. <laughs> we could be. What about Becca? No, no, forget it. Forget it. Becca's gonna be manning those phones day and night until they find him. Mm. Oh. Day and, and night. Night and day. Mm. <laughs> Joe, are you all right? Joe? Final passion. Ah, uh, very good, Becca. Now, easy does it. Yeah, that's right. Now, side of that red bar. No, no, not there. Yeah, there. I'm just no good at this. I'm too clumsy. Well, now, watch it now. Not too much solder. Just a little dab will do you, Becca. But what if this is some other explanation for the lipstick? Have to do something about it. Yeah, you are. You are. <laughs> what? Like Madonna? Yeah, I think Madonna. Yeah, people are I N D. Wake up, come on. 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 We looked high and low, but there was just no sign of that kid. I shall not suffer a liar. Huh? That's too bad. All right, chum, I guess the gal didn't pick you as their perfect date. God, would you turn this junk off? I mean, I hate this show. Turn it off yourself. What did you say to me? I said you could damn well turn it off yourself! What the hell is the matter with you talking to me like that? That's it. Good night. Good day.
Petey? Buffalo Soldiers, a new novel by Roberta Anderson. For guard, my partner in the quest. Please come back. You just come back. I'll give you all my G.I. Joes. Snake eyes. Crystal ball? Know that? Even the pterodrome. Joey, help me. Davy? It's cold and dark, and I want to come home, Ellie. Where are you, Davy? Where are you? I'm with the army now. Help me. How? I don't know how. Please, Davy. talking to Where, where's Davy? I don't know I don't know where things go when they stop being here I never disappeared anything that was alive before Billy Billy help me someone he he's delirious he was talking to Davy. He said the Tommy knocked us down. I'm taking him to the hospital, no, Terry. No, 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 no. You two stay here. I'll take Henry to the hospital. I'll call you as soon as I spoke with the doctor. Now pray for us. Dad, yeah, yeah. It's gonna be okay. I'll get the door. It's gonna be okay. Maybe that'll work. Daddy. It's okay, honey. Best thing you've ever written. Thanks. I think it is, too. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> so when was this, uh, done? Last night. Mm -hmm. In my sleep. <laughs> it's impossible. Well, not with my word accordion. Telepathic typewriter, huh? 
Sorry. Oh, what's it like, this uh, feeling? Thing? It's a high. It's an incredible high. Hmm. What about you? You don't feel anything? Nothing. Not a jot, not an ounce of poetic inspiration. Nothing. You will. It just doesn't happen all at once. I suppose you're right. Hey, uh, maybe it's the old plate in my head, huh? <laughs> yeah, let's take the day off. No, I thought you said you wanted to go out there and dig today. Well, I, yeah, we have been working too hard. Did you know that it's the 4th of July? You want to go into town and wear flags? <laughs> yeah, maybe. Um, but I just... I just want to welcome all of you to our 4th of July celebration. As you know, our community has suffered greatly during these past few days. We've lost our beloved postman, Joe Paulson, and we pray for a speedy recovery for his wife, Becky. Our hearts and our prayers go out to the Brown family in their hour of need as we continue our search for their son, Davy. And yet, in the face of all these tragedies, our community has really joined together. Very proud of you. Would you please rise now and join me in singing the national standing there, gaping, like zombies waiting for Elvis's return. Mm. <laughs> you know how ridiculous you're sounding? And you? <laughs> well, look at yourself. You don't look good. Thank you. I'm sorry. Look, I'm worried about you, okay? <laughs> well, don't. Because I feel wonderful. Right. Well, just do me a favor and promise me that you won't go out there digging today. It's really hot. Uh, I'm fine. Uh, I, uh, just... Oh, hi. It's gonna... 
toast the bread, slice the lettuce and the tomatoes, and then it's gonna flip the bacon and dry it real crisp. Then it's gonna take the mayo and it's gonna smear it on the toast. It'll even cut it into, into little itty bitty quarters. You know, and it'll put a pickle on top if you want. It's gonna be the ultimate BLT sandwich maker. Honey. And that's not the only thing I've been thinking about. I got all these other ideas what is just wrong flooding with in. You? What? Nothing. How can you even think about gadgets at a time like this? Dear, everything's gonna be fine. Don't you know that? I don't even know you. <laughs> oh, come on, Marie. Sorry. I didn't mean to intrude. That's okay, Ruth. Her nerves are shot right now. Yeah, well, it's not surprising, considering what you've both been through. I, uh, I just came by to reassure you that, you know, we haven't stopped looking for Davy. Brian, huh? I promise you I'll find your boy. I promise. Well, you can promise me anything you want, you stupid bitch, but you're never going to find him. What did you say? That we really appreciate you coming in here. It really means a lot to us. Sure. Yeah. Cortex. Do you see it? It's huge. Must be a mistake. That's why I took another set. It's impossible. Brain tumor that big? Kid should be history. What's wrong with my grandson? Sir, you're not supposed to be here. What's wrong with him? Mr. Hillman, we're doing all that we can. Tell me the truth. Is he going to die? Maybe you can give me a hand with this. List this long, I'll take a while. Yeah, well, I got a couple of errands to run, so I... Well, what is this that you're working on here? Just an idea I came up with. You know how folks hate to polish silver. Sooner eat off stained stuff. Well, this is going to set them free. And it's going to make me rich. Filthy rich. Today's special. Huh? You'll miss their anniversary. That'll be 290. Thank you. Ultra change. Thanks, man. There you go. That'll be 580 for the wildlife stamps. There you go. Hey, Barney. Hi, Mr. Gardner. Don't tell me you weren't contact. You can read my mind like everybody else, Nancy. <laughs> I'm not getting it. Not at all. Right. Uh, we haven't received mail in about a week. Things have been real backed up since Joe died. Fill out this complaint form. Oh, Senator. Was there something else? If not, I'm awfully busy. Watch. 
through all those sodas, don't you know all that sugar's gonna kill you someday? Well, every day they say that something that was bad for you is now good for you, so I figure if I bide my time, these will be too. But you don't think we'll find Davy, do you? If he was out there, we'd have found him by now. I just don't know how he could have vanished into thin air. Is that bad? It's just all these all-nighters out searching. I guess I'm out of practice. Yeah. Listen, Ruthie, this is probably not the right time or place for this, but if I don't say this, I'm gonna bust. There ain't a man alive that can hold a candle to Ralph Merrill. He was my best friend, my, my partner, and a damn good cop. But he's gone, Ruthie. Five years now. And I love you for all I'm worth. And if there's any chance at all that you can come to care for me. No, don't say anything. I made a big enough fool of myself already. No, you didn't. I didn't? something for you. Bye. <laughs> 
You need help now. I just need you. You're sick. What has been that you won't call anybody? All right, all right, I promise. Listen to me. If you're not better by tomorrow, I'm talking about a hundred times better. You're calling Doc Warwick, okay? Bobby? Remember that it's our secret. coming down with something, but by the time I got back to Derry, I felt fine. Why do you ask? I don't know. I'm just a little under the weather, I guess. Any news? Nothing. I, I, I can't help but feel like we're missing something. Well, we could try scoping the woods again, I guess. Butch, I'm losing you. Ruthie? The lines are going to hell, Ruthie. Butch, I can't hear you. Damn these old lines. Scoping the woods. Yeah, the woods. Bobby? What? You okay? Yeah, I just needed a good night's sleep. I feel great now. I'm ready to dig. Are you? Well, I think you should really take a good look at yourself. <laughs> Why? You're obsessed. You can't stop. I can't stop. What, what are you implying? <sighs> I can stop when I want. I'll give you that crap, Bobby. I'm an expert on this kind of stuff. Oh, now don't ever compare this with your alcoholism. And what makes your thirst so different? Huh? Just because it comes out of a thing in the ground instead of a bottle? Oh, boy, I don't need this. You're hooked. You can't wait to get back to it. I'm out of here. Oh, no. We're going to talk about this right now. Damn it, that hurts. Look, it's not just you and, and your little word accordions and hot water heaters anymore. This thing is affecting the town. Mabel Noise over there is inventing some kind of silver polishing device. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. Well, our postmistress is reading people's minds. And you can too, can't you? Go on and read mine. Uh, I can't read yours. I've tried, but I think the plate in your head has got something to do with yeah, it. Yeah, there's that. something going on here, and you know it. Yeah, I know, and that something is is beautiful. Look, all I'm saying is that no matter how beautiful you might think it is, that thing is doing something terrible to your body and your mind. So, okay, I'll, I'll take it easier, I promise. But I 
need you to keep digging with me. Hey, you're my anchor. And you're changing, and that's scaring me. Just trust me. Please. Yeah, okay, Bobby. Okay. You unearthed this all by yourself? Guard helped. You could too. <laughs> oh. you, you have no idea. This is gonna change everything. What are you talking about? Bobby, what is happening to you? What's <laughs> gonna happen to you too? You're gonna have ideas, most extraordinary ideas, and powers beyond your imagination. You'll become. Become what? Whatever this thing is making you, whatever the hell it's doing to you, it's not good, Bobby. Don't interfere. Just go home and dream. Just dream of becoming like the rest of us. I want you to come with me. Let's go get some help, Bobby. I don't need any help, Ruth. I don't... I don't need any help. I need to do it. Don't make them hurt you, Ruth.
Ruthie? Are you in there? Ruthie, where are you? This collection. What the hell is going on here? Well, what are you gawking at? Let's go find her. Is there news about Davy? No, ma'am. I'm sorry. Listen, has either one of you seen Ruth Merrill today? No. Well, when was the last time you spoke to her? Um, uh, yesterday. No, it was the day before yesterday. She came in to tell us that uh, she hadn't given up hope on Davy. She's a damn nice lady. We're real lucky to have her as our sheriff. Are you sure you haven't seen her passing by or anything? Why, has something happened? Well. I don't know. That's what I'm trying to find out. We were talking on the phone yesterday, and the connection went to hell. Well, the phone lines around here are ancient. You might as well get a couple of tin cans and put a string in between them. Well, the thing is, nobody's seen or heard from her since. She's missing! First Davey, and now Ruth. Can't the police do anything? What good are you? Honey, he's doing everything he can. It's not his fault. <laughs> Women. Look, where's your father-in-law? I'd like to talk to him. Well, he's up in uh, Derry at the hospital with our other boy. But I'll tell you something between the two of us, officer. He is mad as a March hare. It's all right, Hilly. It's Grampy. I'm right here. Mr. Hillman, he can't hear you. Well, what's causing this coma? It isn't coma. It's shock. Well, whatever you call it. Slipping away is what it comes right down to. Mr. Hillman, what have his parents been feeding him? Oh, regular food. Why do you ask? He's lost several of his permanent teeth. It's me, Joe. I miss you. I really do. But you know, since you've been gone, the people in town, they really like me now. Maybe it's because of these gadgets I keep inventing. <laughs> Look what I dreamed up this time. What do you see what it does? Are you watching? Woo! <laughs> do you love it? Well, I gotta go now. And Joe, don't misunderstand. What we had, it was really, really fun. But I need to get on with the rest of my life. The time of mourning, it's over. Blast the thing fixed. Damn machine's got a mind of its own. Give it a good kick. Check out all the neighboring farms. 
I'm gonna go out and see that book writer, the uh, Anderson woman. Ruth was friends with her. Maybe she knows something. I'll uh, check in with you later. Officer Dugan? Ms. Anderson. I'm afraid I've got some bad news. I don't know if you've heard, but... Ruth Merrill's missing. Oh, my God. I don't know what to think. I was hoping you could help. I haven't seen Ruth since 4th of July. Now, how about that fellow that lives with you, Jim Gardner? You think he might know something? Oh, I doubt it, but I'll be sure to ask him as soon as he gets back. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. It's just the heat. Well, there's a terrible flu going around. You'd be careful not to catch it. Ma'am. Officer? If you hear anything, call me as soon as you know. Yes, ma'am. Bobby, little kids get lost. Ruth's an adult. She's a cop. She finds people. She doesn't disappear. Something is happening to you. Something's happening to this town. And I'm telling you, it has something to do with that thing in the woods in there. Now, I want you to help me to try to find out what it is so we can stop it, okay? Stop it? No. No. Guard? Guard. I'm going to tell Dugan. Go we'll see it. It's right out there. God, God, you promised to help me. Yeah? All these years, I stood by you when you needed me. Bobby, I don't. stood by you when you were drunk, when you hated yourself, when you couldn't even write a line of poetry. I stood by when you stay by me. Don't you betray me like this. I love you, Bobby. I'm trying to help you. You leave now. Don't bother coming back. You don't mean that. Try me. Guard! Guard! Unit 16 to base. Do you copy over? Unit 16 to base. Do you copy? Oddest dang thing. First it rains. Then it pours. I don't like this. I don't like it at all. Jingles, Ben, come in. Butch, there you are. Things are just fine. It's all been a wild goose chase for nothing. You mean it, boss? You want us to call up the search? I'll explain it to you when you get back to Derry. 10-4 and out. How'd I do? You could have been on Star Search. Hell, you could have won it. You really think so? Yes, I do. 10 4 and out. <laughs> well, what do you mean he's going back to Derry, Del? Look real punky. Sick as a dog, all right. Well, what about his men? Have they left too? The Stadies. Oh, they're around somewhere. Why, is there something wrong? Uh, I'm, 
I just need to talk to Dugan. I need to talk. There's something I can do to help, son. Yeah, I like to. I like to use the phone in there if I can. Uh, sorry, it's it, it's on the fritz. But the bar's got one. Try theirs. Me neither. Hey, boys. Ma'am? What are you big old bears doing out here in the woods all by yourself? We're an important place business, ma'am. <laughs> Is he always so mean and grumpy? Is he like that to you too, Trooper? Just me. I uh, mean it, ma'am. On your way. I'll put you under arrest. Under arrest? Really, Ben? Jingles, could you get the hell away from her? Okay, boys. I just wish you'd known better than to come snooping around like this. Hold it right there now. Put up your hands. Come on, Ben. I mean it, lady. Put him up. Do as he says, ma'am. You wouldn't stop a lady from putting on a little lipstick, would you? Some people call it final passion. I call it final surprise. Bye bye, boys. On the blink, huh? Everything in this town is on the blink. So shoot a pickle. Sorry? Well, it's technology. I mean, you keep spending more and more, and it works less and less, so I say... Shoot a pickle. Right. Pull up a chair. No. Thanks. I... Well, something's bothering you, right? Yeah, I guess you could say that. Yeah, me too. Anything new on the boys? Nope. Now the little lady's gone around the bend, but it runs in the family. I mean, her old man is bonkers, too. Say, why don't you pull up a chair? No, really, thanks. Well, a nice cold one has been known to take the curse off of anything. Anything, huh? Yeah. You know, looking at you, I would say that you are a vodka tonic man. Hold the tonic, right? Come on, pull up a chair. I'll buy. What do you say? I say shoot the pickle. Shoot the pickle. Bill. Best. Oh! Hey, Gardner. Oh. Those ladies find you? Nope. Did they leave yet? Oh, they're gone, all right. Good night, boys. Did you, did you tell them I was looking for them? No. I'm probably hallucinating all of this anyway. So. Can I give you a ride home? Because Bobby will kill me if you wrap yourself around a tree. No, no, thanks. I'll be all right. Shoot a pickle. Shoot a pickle.
Let's mayor. After all these doubts and all these dreams, after all these... I keep coming home to you. for going on 40 years. She was like family to me and my boys. Hell, we all went fly fishing together. I know. It just about broke our heart that we couldn't find your grandson. Do you have any idea what could have happened to her? Whatever it is, I bet somehow it's tied up to Davy. Two disappearances in one week. That's more than coincidence. All my years in the force, I've never seen anything like it. It just vanished into thin air without a trace. Butch, have you ever heard of the Tommy Knockers? Hmm? Last night and the night before, Tommy Knockers, Tommy Knockers, knocking at my door. Before Hilly went into a coma, he said Davy was with the Tommy Knockers. Well, I don't have much time for nursery rhymes, Mr. Hellman. Maybe Hilly was right. You said yourself that it was as if they had vanished into thin air. Well, I'll think about it. If anything else occurs to you, give me a call. Good night. been on real good terms with you, but this ain't for me. My two grandsons deserve their time in the sun, and so does Ruth Merrill and all the good people in Haven. We need your help to fight this thing, whatever it is. Please, Lord. must be careful. Is everything in readiness? The detour signs are up. Anyone who makes it through will wish he didn't. Like those two stadies, they got a nasty surprise. One, two, three. 
My gadget sent him to the Twilight Zone. Zapping them wasn't necessary. In time, they would have become. Not everyone has become. Your man hasn't. He will. It will happen to him, too. I can't read his mind. He's not like us. He's dangerous. He could mean the end of us. One man. I say zap him. I say not. Leave him to me. The time for all of us to unite is at hand. Are you ready to complete the becoming? Yes. Are you ready to become one voice that will soon be free? Yes. yes. One great powerful voice that will know more. Yes. Do more. Yes. Be more. Yes. One voice. Yes. Take out to the site in case there's uh, any trouble. I like a man who's ready for anything. Well, wh what are you doing here, Nancy? It's just cooking up a little something. You never know when a gun might come in handy. Exactly. So, uh, what'd you do to it? Just fiddled with it a little. You know, give it some extra care. All you gotta do is hold it real tight. Can you do that? Sure. And aim it. Oh, you got a strong grip. And then firmly pull the trigger. Anyone in front of it'll be history. I like a man who knows the value of
fancy. I was a boy scout. I'll bet you were. You got gray lips. Why don't you try them on for size? Killer lips. Won't be the death of you yet. Find this interesting. Anything he could have come in contact with. Hunting accident in woods. Man kills wife, kids, and then kills himself. Deathbed claims Woods cursed. cat dragged in. Join us. What am I, a prisoner? I'll never join you, Bobby. And I'll never become. Hey, poet. Let's see if you can dig as well as you can drink. Ben Jingles, come in over. Benton Jingles, come in, over. The lines in Haven must be down. Which lines? All of them, some kind of storm, maybe. A hell of a storm, all right. The way I figure it, Ruth found out something about Davy. And now, they've got her, too. They? Uh, you saying there's some kind of conspiracy going on in Haven? There's a conspiracy, all right, one hell of a conspiracy. Going back at least as far as the Indians. I should have known he wouldn't believe me. Well, I'm trying to, old timer, but you're not making it very easy. Now, if you got anything for real, spit it out. For starters, we've got three disappearances that are related. My grandson, Davy, Ruth, and now your two troopers. See, a lot of fishy things have been going on in those woods around Haven over the years. Hunters getting lost. People going crazy and shooting each other for no reason. Well, all woods have stories like these. We got all sorts of special things. Men murdering whole families and then killing themselves. It's like this big jigsaw puzzle. Once you see the pattern, you wonder how you could ever miss it. And you're telling me all these are connected? Impossible. Yeah, any normal person would say that. Most people see only as far as the horizon. That's all. Tell them there's something over it, and they don't listen. But there's something there, all right. And that's something that's made the whole town go to hell fast now. Just what is that something? When are you going back to Haven? As soon as it's light. Take me with you. I'll show you. You're not like us. No. I'm the one that's not gonna have to buy a new set of teeth when this is all over. You getting smart? Shoot a pickle, huh? No, my friend. Nope. All evidence points to the contrary of that, all right. Wait here. Maybe that'll help you become.
on here anyway? You still think I'm crazy? Yeah. Like a fox. Standing here for over 200 years. Who do you think did this? an old timer diet ah let's live a little make it original still a high roller huh then let's head to the woods huh He's right, Dad. Bobby found this, and it's going to change everything, all our lives. I have no doubt about that. Then fight us now. Join us. Never. Shame on you, Bobby Anderson. Shame on you. You got nothing to fear, Ev. We don't want to hurt you. What have you done with my grandson? Is it all right if I tell him? We found Davey. Oh, 
Where? No, it's all right, no. Daddy. Everything's gonna be all right. You found him. Yeah. We'll take you to him, Ev. And then you can decide whether you want to stay with us or leave. Come on, Daddy. You don't want to see Davy, don't you? Yeah, Ev, come on. He's right over here. I some more wire for blasting, so I just came up to get it. So where is it? I was just getting it. Just because I can't read your mind doesn't mean I don't know what you're thinking. You'd better pray nothing happens to Bobby. If something did, you'd suffer a little accident. Aren't you coming to bed? You know, just because you haven't become doesn't mean I don't want you. You're not afraid I'm gonna escape? You can't escape. You know you can't.
with you. Well, uh, yeah. In the morning, we're all gonna find the answers together. No, no, I don't want to share this with anybody. We were the ones who found it. We dug it up. It should be us. Us. It's you and me. Alone? I'm on my own.
Bonnie. speak to you. Instrument panel or something here? How does this thing fly? He did it telepathically. But what's powering it? Just like in the shed. You haven't changed. You haven't become. This has all been a trick. How could you have done that to them? 
How? I mean, for God's sakes, Pete loved you. He loved you more than anything in the world, Bobby. He helped me become. They all gave us their strength. Not Gates. Not Gates. Stole. He stole it. You're like a vampire. You and your, your precious Tommy knockers. Shut up! Shut up! If you don't get it, do you? You don't get it? Well, take a look around! They've been giving you brain boosters, but all they're doing is, is fattening you up and use you all like batteries. Same as it always was, Bobby. It's you yeah. listen to me. Listen to me. I know that someplace in there. Someplace. You're in there. And you can hear me. I know that. Listen to me. me. Voices. You t- told me. No voices. No voices, Bobby. They lie. My voice. I'm being eaten up. <laughs> That's what becoming is. It's all been a lie. follow you. No, oh, guard, no. Robbie, somebody's got to shut this thing down. Somebody's got to destroy it. Go on. Guard. Bob. Don't do this. It's going to kill you. No, I don't I can help it. Yeah, I'm not going to let you do it. I have to. You know that. You know that.
was the plate that kept them out. It was you. God hates a coward, right? to us. They're all dead. You're the liar. Just listen to me. They're using us. They're killing us to bring them back to life. We've listened to you long enough. Find a way in. That damn rush has jammed it! Man. Everybody get back. Wait, boy. It's a piece of cake, okay?
After all these doubts and all these fears, after all these questions without answers and dreams without substance, I journeyed home one more mile, just one last mile. 